Hey, I'm Big B and I brick and I've got another installment of the usual suspects knowing the Bricklink seller. And today we have a package from James Universe over at Unibrix. So, James is a YouTuber. He's been out there for a while. Go check him out. He hasn't made a video in a while, but he uh, does have an excellent color chart. And uh, maybe if you guys go watch his videos over at James Universe, and make a comment to him, he will show us an updated color chart. I would really like to see that because I just saw his color chart for the first time today. Um, I actually did not realize that James used to make videos before I ordered from him. And uh, so he's in the usual suspects. And I'd like to see him make some more videos, wouldn't you guys? Yeah, yeah. All right. First thing we got here is some old school railroad tracks. Yeah, these are real sealed in there. Um, I'm not going to take them apart, but you guys know what. Oh, I can pull one out this way. Bag cracked open. We both have the long and the short runs. Do this trick. Boom. There you go. And those are railroad tracks. Let's go scoot over my order here. Quarter for the order. And there's also some straight rails in there. Next. Picked up 20 sand green dinosaur tails. Not because I have a plethora of dinosaurs sitting around, just because they make very, they're very interesting elements. A lot of these times that I get this stuff besides Putting some of them in my store, they're very interesting elements, and these were new. Um, let's see what we got here. Oh, cool. So he did throw all of these dinosaur pieces into one. I'm sure that this is a uh, semi-complete dinosaur that he had. He probably had a piece that broke or something, and that's why. Oh, he threw in some freebies here. Cool. Freebie. Uh, one reddish brown or could be reddish brown it might be brown let me uh, brown which is cool i only bought one he threw one in and then he also threw in one of these um white barb large flexible claw horn so i had ordered five, four he had an extra one he threw it in there that was pretty cool of him and then Right here we have, I like that, eh? I love this old school stuff. I love this old school People talk about specialized brick and blah, 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 blah. This is such a cool specialized brick. How many people that have cities would love to get their hands on this? Seriously, and this is in great condition, too. This ran me, let's see where it is over here if I can find it. Is this even on my order? I wonder if he just threw this in here. I don't even see this on here. This is a crazy uh, awesome extra. Oh no, here it is. Okay, two dollars. Two dollars. That is awesome. Let's hear it for used parts, people. Who would want this for their city for two bucks? This guy. All right, what do we got? Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to look through here to see what is new versus used. All right. Man, uh, it's got. Let's see where he's got everything in here. So we need to take care of these first. All right. Here we have these cloth curtain, red, yellow, and green. I think these are from um, the Type 1 bus, if I'm not mistaken. And then also in the back, we've got some of these stickers here. Um, I believe these are from Sauron's Eye. I will be using uh, 
them in stained glass work for a gothic church. I'm going to have to bust into this bag even though it's well sealed. There's no way to show you that. He's still a little When I say well sealed, I mean well sealed. This is good now. Alright, first things first, we've got this large roof piece. A lot of times you'll see this in clear or trans blue. I think it's uh, been maybe new in trans light blue. Um, possibly. Jang just used one on his um, one of his buildings. Next, we've got these two ones. Pick these up just because of the sticker on them. I won't be taking the sticker off them, but those will be really good for a train. We got one horse right here with the Persian blanket pattern. I like that a lot. That was a buck eighty-six. Not bad at all. And then some dinosaur feet. Got a Rex from Toy Story. Couple of these pieces right here. It's a trans dark blue or uh, medium blue on that. What else we got? A couple green ores, that brown ore. Um, I'm going to pop all these open. I do not have my handy dandy no assembly required IKEA piece because they're in dark green for those ores. No idea how long this is going, so I'll try to speed through this. A little lime flower. Trans neon orange. A couple of four of these bricks in there. Those will be going out of my color chart. Uh, what was this? Salmon. Scalia vase, and I got that specifically just for the color. I'm probably picking up a bunch of James's old pieces that there you go, that great trunk um, that he had been using on his color chart. Uh, one medium orange clam. A couple of these red direction switches here. The train. Let me grab the color chart. Yep. So now that neon orange piece that I was using is gone. So there's trans orange. Trans red frosted, and then the trans neon orange. I just saw his color chart for the first time. Um, I like what he's doing. I'm doing this two by two brick on top as well. I hadn't seen his, but I like he's doing it on a uh, a four by four um, plate. But I can see it taking up a whole lot of room just to be pretty. So I'm gonna figure out a solution like that. But not just like that. Because I really don't want to have to see. I don't need the prettiness of it. Um, but his is quite impressive. So we have some of these Hero Factory ammo belts in black. Where are these more pieces that I picked up for the color chart? Oh. All right, we got one large pot here, one large vase. I don't know what I'm going to do with those. I just liked them. Giant, super impressive trophy. Let's see. 
Dios. Minifig available to hold, although there's definitely not standing any minifig up. All right. What color are these? Medium orange. Do I already have medium orange? Yes, I already had medium orange. All right. There. And non frost brick. I'm very digging. Digging ish for that. But now I can see why he did at least on a plate. Because when you do the doing the short sort shimmy. Which is what I call it when you move them all down because you got room, you got another one to you got to put in the correct order of color, at least what you feel is the correct order for color. I'm not entirely certain what the Lego definition of the right color is, but and there definitely is a slight variation as far as the color to the frosted. And the non frosted, but it isn't frosted on the top, it's only frosted on the side, so that would only pertain to side views. I don't know if you guys can really tell. There you go. The one on the right, on my right, is non frosted, very, very slight color difference. And it's not even a color difference, it's just an opaqueness. An opacity difference, if you will. Very cool. And then it looks like I got all my new parts are in here. I'm just going to sprinkle those on out. Oh. And we picked up pieces for a medium dark flush, which is another one of the shuffle shimmy games. Sorry, I'm really stretching out this one, aren't I? I don't even know what time it is because I'm not even watching the uh, timer. It's not even up right now. I've completely gone off the reservation, if you will. All right. I definitely do not have this color. Look at that. Two by four brick. Imagine that. Wait, that's not medium dark flush. That's flush. Flush. Ah. He is invincible. Flush. Ah. I think it's something like Hero of the Universe. I don't know, but I know that that was a song by Queen. There we go. Look at that. All kinds of additions. And I probably could do... That right there to get some medium blue in. You guys are going to laugh. The reason for the order being placed... Uh, I was looking for a usual suspect who had one of these. One by one blue brick. Why do I need a one by one blue brick? I gotta build a Steve. Because I got all the pieces to build a Steve and I figured it'd be better off uh, uh, for sales purposes if I actually put Steve together instead of just selling the unique plates associated with Steve. So. Thanks to James Universe. 
over at Unibrix. Very cool guy. Definitely talkative. Get him talking in your um, in your comments, and you'll learn a lot because he's a knowledgeable dude. Um, there we go. That is whoa. It's rambling here. That is my haul. We're going on 15 minutes. Holy cow. All right. Uh, go check out his Brickling store. Check out his channel. Go look at his color chart. Then go over to my store and go buy some stuff if you want. If you're looking, I am Big B. I be, I, uh, owner, purveyor, owner, operator, separator, lead stacker over at, uh, Big B's Bricks. So, uh, I don't know. I'm still rambling and I'm rambling and I'm just ramble on. See my soul. I'm Big B. I brick. 